Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 9th of 2023. Well, it is titled Dart versus Dimorphos. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by the DART spacecraft, which was known as the double asteroid redirection test. Now, the idea was that the, the uh, spacecraft was going to smash into this asteroid, and we wanted to see how much we were able to divert its orbit. And the, it was, the idea was to be able to look at eventually planetary defense if a asteroid were found coming toward Earth, would we be able to reach it early enough and deflect its orbit so that it passed harmlessly by Earth instead of crashing into Earth. So this was one of our first tests of this. It was actually a relatively small craft, uh, had a mass of 570 kilograms compared to the 5 billion kilograms from the asteroid. So it wasn't going to be a major diversion, but you don't really need very much if we could detect an asteroid far enough away on a collision course, a very small change in its orbit could keep it from striking Earth. It doesn't take a very big change in the orbit to make a very large change a larger distance away. Of course, the closer the asteroid gets to Earth, the more of force that you need to push that asteroid away from striking Earth. Now this test was done last fall and the image was taken just a few seconds before the craft slammed into the asteroid and we can see the outline of the impact there and the impact zone is that central square right in between those two boulders where it was going to smash into the asteroid. Now, what was the result? Well, we found that it actually changed its orbital period by about half an hour. So it used to orbit with a 12 hour period. This was actually a double asteroid, two objects orbiting each other. This was the smaller of the two. And its orbit took it went from 12 hours and became about half an hour less. So it was a great success in showing that we could change the orbit of a massive object with the impact of a much smaller spacecraft. Of course, on a larger scale, you could look at using larger objects slammed in at more speed if you wanted more force and needed to divert something a little bit more. But it was a first test to be able to check this kind of thing as to whether it would be able to actually divert and change the orbit of an asteroid. And in this case, the DART mission was a success. And here we see that impact site just seconds before the impact occurred. So that was our picture of the day for March 9th of 2023. It was titled Dart versus Dimorphos. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a great nebula. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.